Good evening, everyone. So, here I am. This is third video. And today's way miss the night time. I love the night time. You know why? Because I have such a good connection with it. Am I up all day waiting for it? Yes. Do I stay up all night? No. For what? Unless I am such a night owl, which at times I feel I am, but you know what? I'm only the nighttime person. If I'm watching everyone else's videos, how could that be possible? But it is. And I had a little bit of juice tonight, so maybe I'll be raring to go to watch everyone's video. So, update. I'm me, and you're you. And that makes it perfect for our years we have here. Does that make sense? Hell yeah, it does. I have quite a few videos out. Um, they're on my Instagram, which is musicangel20. I had another one, Lisa Giardino 8. Yeah. Ask me if I remember my password after my phone break. Wait a minute, broke. And I did not remember what it was. But that's okay. Because I know. I'm fine without it. But if you remember it, look me up. It's a lot of personal stuff, like fighting to live these past years. Um, but this is a special night. Beside figuring, look at this hair. Besides figuring out to apply for jobs on Craigslist, and yes, there's some that are decent and legit, I'm going to have one on Thursday. And I'm special because God Almighty gave me that opportunity to work. You know what? With or without a job, we are known to be here. With or without a job, we should be treated fairly, even if we can't. I remember my son saying a couple of years ago, Mom, when you shine, shine, then the other son will come to you. Really now? First of all, what kind of shining do we mean? Did he mean my face? Did he mean my hair? Did he mean the money in my pocket? Really? We are judged by what we have? Is that fair to any of us? It's not. Now I had a special grandmother that with or without money she still loved you. She still shared whatever she had with her heart. And that's something I do. Now, I'm not saying, mind you, that if someone shares with me that I won't accept it now, even though I was 
was treated like If anyone offers you something, say no thank you, my mother said. That wasn't right. Because she made me feel guilty whenever someone handed me something or offered me something. And up to recently, I was like that. How old am I? 55? I'm sharing this video to let you know that I've made some improvement with that. And that if anyone was treated that way, it was wrong on every level. Because I'm not saying you have to accept everything anyone offers you, especially a stranger you don't know, or you met in the street, or someone that you feel uncomfortable with as, an, as a child or as an adult because that could be dangerous. But, you can't give guilt to your child or any family member or friend. It's wrong. And it's also wrong to invite people to your home and not want them in your life that weekend. And yes, that happened to me recently. No names. That's between us. That was wrong. Made me feel like crap. All because there was a lot of words that were told to someone else. And they spilled it onto me and someone else. You know something? I explained myself. I apologize for something that the person told me to do and I forgot but it was not just forgetting I didn't have that opportunity with money to be able to stay somewhere else and mind you it was 13 months 13 months since I saw that person I'm like what? Is that person for real? To throw someone out in the pouring rain, mind you. That I traveled over 200 miles to see her and everyone around. And it wasn't even her own house. But it was family. And because it was family, she felt she could do it. And she did it. I don't want to go back there again. And then, after explaining myself, apologizing, leaving, uh, the person had the nerve to say to me, they didn't throw me out. Yes, I wanted to spend time with someone else that was there that brought me somewhere else but I didn't want to be treated like crap and none of us do if it happens to you your decision what you should do but my advice would be don't go back there again don't ever give anyone an opportunity to throw you out again and treat you like crap. You're not shit. And none of us are. It's different if I was doing drugs or spending money and then not even the money. Even if let's just say we talked about me coming up and what a fuck job that was. So after fighting more, back and forth on texting, I said, I'm so done. He said, please don't contact me again. No names mentioned. But it's my video. 
I'll do what I want and say what I want. Okay, so uh, we are on a positive level as well. I've got hands, a heart, breath, and legs. They may not walk great, but you know what? I'm going to make positive steps to a better lifestyle choices. Day by day, it's a process with the overeating. I'm doing better today. Day by day. Oh dear Lord, three things I pray. See thee more clearly, love thee more dearly. Follow thee more nearly, day by day. One of my favorite songs. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Do you know I had surgery within less than a year? It was... September 17th last year. I, it was pretty early in the morning, I think, or maybe 12 o'clock, noon. I started having extreme pain. And yes, I have a lot of health issues, but I had a hernia. And it was hurting. And I thought it was just gastritis, something I was dealing with something I was diagnosed with, with esophic inflammation of the esophagus. So I'm like, well, maybe it was something I ate. So I drank some fluid. I drank some fluid. I lay down. I rub my stomach. I try to go to the bathroom. Nothing. Nothing helped the pain. I was in extreme pain. If you are a mother, if you gave birth, you would understand it was like contractions, but it's severe. But then it came, it became constant, and nothing relieved it, even with some gas, I, uh, gas X, Pepsi. I think it was called. I didn't take a pain medicine. Oh no, hell no. Because if you're in a lot of pain, if you're in a lot of pain, it's different if it was a pain from the bone, but if it's something abdominally, you have to get checked. Guess where I went? to the hospital. It was a bad experience because I had to wait in extreme pain and then I was throwing up and I'm like, oh God, what the hell is going on with me? But I had the doctors see me. They told me to have to put an NG tube in my nose but whoever was dealing with it didn't do it properly. They didn't sit me up properly in the gurney. Then a couple of other doctors came forth. They gave me a CAT scan before they really did the evaluation. And they found out I had an incarcerated hernia. What is that considered? A jailed hernia? For a second, when they said it, I almost cracked up. How am I making my stomach be trapped? My abdominals. Like, oh my God. So the doctor said, you can go home, but if you feel worse, you have to come back. 
I says, no, I'm staying. And yes, we're having the surgery. I agree to it. But here's the most important thing to tell you. I was on the gurney. It's like a little rollaway bed in the ER. No, I was on not on pain medicine. I wasn't on sleeping pills. I definitely do not hallucinate. This is important that I'm sharing this with you. My parents are gone. They've passed away. 1966 was my dad, and 2006 was my mom. I look to the left. I saw them on the side of my bed. Their color around them, their aura, their, their light was gold. And they were smiling at me, but they didn't talk. I said, okay, mom and dad are here. Never saw them together, ever. And yes, I do at times see them in my dream but not together. And then at the foot of my bed, I saw a man with a light beard, a mustache, brown eyes, brown hair. He had a copper crown on his head. Whoever believes, believes. Whoever doesn't, okay. It's my video, but it's my words because it's my experience. And I needed to share it with you. To me, it was Jesus Christ. And I know it. What a blessing to know he's alive. And there is such a thing. I have had these experiences before, but never seen Jesus before. When I saw this, I was not afraid, because I believe, being growing up Catholic and having experiences of near death and actually having statues at the church move when I looked at them in the past. But that's here or there. This is the latest experience of my life. And there is such a thing, according to me, of what I saw. And I had to share it. After I had that surgery, which was a very complicated surgery, and they told me this, I did some videos, which I have to share from my other channel. They told me, don't gain weight, but lose it. I gained weight, but I didn't lose a lot. I actually am the same weight that I was after surgery, which was September 17th last year, which is, mind you, the day my grandmother passed away. And you know what? I was scared and shit. I was like, this is it. When I saw them, I was like, oh my God, am I dying? I'm not losing my mind when that happened. I wasn't. 
I actually felt content. So, I've had some good doctors, and I've had some doctors that just looked at me for a few minutes and had me leave. I have some good experiences, and I will miss it when I move, some of them. But I am truly blessed with God helping me through all of it, because... Up to a year ago, I was really, really um, taking IV medicine uh, to boost my immune system, called Gamagod, a famous ambulance that's saving people, um, and that was a rough experience because every time I would take medication, I would have to take Benadryl. I would have to drink a lot of fluid, a lot of water, a day before or two days before. Um, that was to prepare my body for the medication and after. It's been a tough road. But because they gave me the medication called Hiprex, which is a pill to make my urine acidy because I have constant UTI and kidney infections. It's working. The pill is working. How long it's going to work, I don't know. But for the years that I've had, this is a miracle. Another miracle. And as of from May last year, 10th, until February, the end of February, I was on that IV medicine called Gamma God. Guess what? I'm off of it. Another blessing. I may not have a lot of money. I may not have a lot of things, but I'm doing pretty good, and I wanted to share that with you. And I am preparing for my new adventures, moving, at least a couple hundred miles away. I made the, ex I made the choice. When you make choices, you go with it. When you feel it. But for me, it's like a movie. I see it before it's even there. I'm a seer. And no, I'm not nuts. There's many of us out there. Just letting you know. And yeah, I'm going to continue to share my experiences. And yes, you're not nuts if you have this gift. We're not. We are just gifted. So what's your plans for the next weeks? I know mine is to go to a new beach that I've never been to before. I love the beach. It's just so soothing and calm and smells great. Of course, the sharks are there. And I would be dinner. Look at me. I'm 170 something pounds. Well, I said that in my last video too. So I'm not a skinny ninny. And whatever you are, skinny, fat, whatever, that's cool. But the fish would really love me. Don't you think? So, I'm just saying good night, and I will keep you posted about what's going on. And I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I like to buy a Coke and say, 
Yeah, right, a Coca-Cola. I haven't had those in years. Wait a minute, it was the other day? But that's an old song from years ago. It is. And the next couple of days, I'm going to do some more singing videos. I am a big comedian at times. But God bless. Have a good night. And you take care of yourself. And remember, you are wonderful. Bye.